What does a failed war on drugs mean? How about the fact that from 2001 to 2010, more than 8 million people were arrested for marijuana-related charges? That's an average of 700,000 per year, and 88% of those arrests were for nonviolent possession alone. That creates an incredible financial burden on the U.S. criminal justice system. Keeping just one person in prison costs $80.25 a day. Even greater, most employers won't consider hiring a person with a felony or misdemeanor conviction, leading our GDP to suffer a potential $65 billion loss. That is a pretty big price to pay, considering 82% of Americans believe we're losing the war on drugs. And considering that if we regulated and taxed marijuana like alcohol, we'd inject an estimated $6.2 billion into the federal budget annually. Colorado is already reaping post-prohibition benefits. The state collected $135 million in cannabis taxes in 2015 and used $35 million of it to help fund public schools. Now, imagine these financial and civil benefits multiplied by 50. Together, we can address the financial waste in our failed marijuana enforcement system. This 420 season, let's plant the seeds of change. Donate to the Marijuana Policy Project to help our country start reaping the benefits of regulated marijuana. At Dixie, we will too. Throughout the month of April, we'll donate $15 for every case of special edition elixirs sold. Let's share the movement and create a world where cannabis can be seen without prejudice.